everybody. What's going on? It's Hyperdelic here. Today, we're going to be taking a look at another one of my toys. It's G.I. Joe Classified Series Shockwave. Or, if you're real, you know, personal, it's Jason Shockwave Faria. Or Faria. Or something. I don't know if that's Latino or if that's Italian. But hey, you know what? I'm Italian. I like Italian. Hey, we're going to go with Italian. He's Italian. That's not to say that I'm not, you know, I'm not all for him being Latino, but I like the fact that he might be Italian. That's pretty cool. You know, that's a lot better than David L. Katzenborgen over there with Bazooka's name. Oh, man, that is such a mouthful. <laughs> At least Jason Feria is like, yeah, and he's a transformer. <laughs> right? Right? Eh, Hasbro owns them both. Who cares? Ooh, hey, house is making noises. All right, that's fun. <laughs> Let's take a look at this guy. He was, uh, I liked, I really, really wanted him when uh, the vintage figure came out. I got him, I did. But I remember being quasi disappointed with him. I remember uh, I didn't like his gun. I liked his, his pack. Cause he has like a, he had like a sword or a knife on his pack uh, or like a machete or something I want to say. Um, and it was, he was really cool, but it was, I don't know. It just came out kind of disappointing, I, I, I believe. Um, but uh, you know, blue was one of my favorite colors when I was a kid. And so like, I just, I loved the fact that he had like the blue camo, you know, it was like that whole uh, tech camo thing that he had going on. And it was really neat looking. Um, as you can see on the back, he's got it on the hat. The hat looks to be removable. And he can kind of look like he's a, you know, silent operating, you know, mercenary or something. Moving in. Getting getting into things. Yeah. And that big old freaking SWAT team shield. It's so cool. Like, I'm assuming he's, you know, basically a SWAT team kind of guy. Uh, I don't recall what his file card is. I'm not going to look it up because that's just not, you know... 3djoes.com. Uh, they don't they don't pay me or anything like that. I've just been using that website for a long time. Um, and uh, honestly, they, they have a really good layout and they have all the information you need. Go there. I highly recommend it. You want some toy stuff. You want to learn about like, you know, what the toy looks like and its articulation. And you want to you want to take a look at the paint apps and see what it looks like before you decide to buy something like that. You come to me. I'm going to show you. <laughs> right. We're going to go over to this side. I'm not going to complain about Hasbro's lack of file cards anymore. I think I've, uh, I think I've sufficiently done that. <laughs> but I did it again just now, right? See? Yeah, I did that. <laughs> I'm not complaining, but I did. <laughs> right. All right. There's your top. There's your bottom. Ugh. Let's see. What are we going to do to him? Um, let's. <sighs> Bam! <laughs> Shockwave. G.I. Joe. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Now, we are going to do some double zoomies on Shockwave. Because you got to check out this face. Come on, camera. There we go. All right, so. Yes. I don't think I'm happy with that hat. Um, I may have to like shave it down or something along those lines. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet, but I don't like how it kind of bumps out on the side. This side, not so bad. And I don't know if the camera is really picking it up as well as, but like, with the naked eye, it's it's a lot more pronounced. Now, I'm gonna show this real quick. You see that face? Look at that. Okay, you look at that hat. That ain't fitting like that hat is. Cut that out, Hasbro. If you're gonna do toy photography, you give me the real toy. <laughs> like, not this like doctored up version, okay? Or get some better QC and make sure that these turn out the same way as the box. 
I know, I know, they're going back to Windows. So it doesn't really matter, honestly. It's a moot point. But you know what? It's kind of disappointing because Shockwave it has that hat. You know, like that's, he's kind of known for having that hat on. Like that's one of his iconic looks. Um, and he's got like the flak jacket, you know, uh, bulletproof vest thing going on, like SWAT team gear. Um, he is very cool. Like the overall package is nice. Um, he's got some great, like lots of little bits, accessories, but they all add up to like a really nice package. Uh, I think he's a good, uh, he's a good one. He, he, he's, he, he's not perfect. <laughs> like that hat is really kind of ticking me off, but you can pop the hat off and, and that's a cool look too. Actually, I sort of like that and I may sort of default to that, but I want to give you guys the iconic shockwave look because you know, you have to, um, I do not remember shockwave being in the cartoons. Uh, I do remember him being in the toy line and he probably would have been that, uh, the second gen uh, cartoon. Um, it, 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 I think that was the Deke one. But yeah, I, um, yeah, it, it's a good look. I do like him. Um, let's do his articulation, right? So he's got the standard head and ball thing. I, I feel like his head is like almost reuse of beach head, or, but I don't know. I don't have beach head. Um, but that's kind of what he looks like. He's got that like stocking cap mask on. Um, and he's got the, he's got that double articulated neck, you know, where the neck is a peg and the head has a barbell in it more than like, I, I'm pretty sure it's got a double barbell. <clears throat> and I'm assuming it's probably a double barbell at the bottom of the neck too. <clears throat> um, his head turns, you know, all that good stuff. I, I I say it all the time. The neck articulation for these new GI Joes are amazing. They it's a really really cool idea. Uh, we come down. Uh, I can't see an oh yeah you can. Uh, so it looks like he has an ab crunch, not a diaphragm. Maybe that uh, ab crunch is cheaper to do. Uh, I don't know. Or they just have the molding for it. Uh, all of this is pinless, but oh no, it's not. Oh, I thought it was, but there's the leg pins. Okay. So leg, legs are old. Top is old. Arms are new. There's no pins in the arms. Uh, he has a butterfly so he can do this like a butterfly, right? That's why it's called that. Uh, the arm, you can see it's got like a ball and pin joint thing. You can go all the way around. And his arm, see now, they didn't make this match up really well. On this side, there's kind of a gap and I'm a little upset about that, but he's gonna hit some hot water and that may all just fix itself out. That could just be from sitting in the package. Um, like I let him warm up, but you know, <laughs> it's never perfect. So his bicep twists all the way around. And then he's got a double elbow. That really nice, ah, oh, man. It's not like it's hard to do, but they do kind of want to move in different ways on you sometimes. But that 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 is very nice. And then his wrist is the up and down rocker, right? It's a, on a peg if you want to see it. Oh, it's not. Oh man. I was just bending it. Thank God I pulled it out. <laughs> Look at that. Okay. So it is not up and down. Hmm. I wonder is his other hand, his other hand, his other hand is up and down. Okay. So he's got one up and down and one side to side. So he goes like this. <laughs> that was that's a good thing I noticed that. All right, and he swivels at the waist. He's got, you know, the ball pin down there. In his pants, <laughs> right? So, I mean, and that gives for some nice articulation. I mean, it, the, uh, I don't like the ab crunch. I prefer the diaphragms, but uh, it, it, still, it still does give you a nice range of motion, period. I mean, look at this, he can, 
You can pretty much grab his ankles. Why you would pose him like that, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, how far back can he bend to? You can, you can kind of go like that far back. That's standing up straight. <laughs> so, I mean, hey, if you need him to be like bending backwards like that, and his butt does some weird things. <laughs> All right. Which is probably going to be bad in the long run over time. All of these soft plastic good parts are going to degrade. We'll see. I'm curious to see what happens to these over time. All right, so hip articulation. He's got the the nice little, it's not so pronounced in these ones, but it still does it. You know, the leg can pop down and that's so that you don't gouge up right in here when you're posing, right? So that his leg can do that when you're sitting in a vehicle or in a chair. Hey, you know, uh, he has a double knee. And it goes all the way back. He almost naturally touches the butt. But, you know, you can easily push it. Uh, good butt kicking form right there. Uh, the shoes or the, the ankle kind of articulates all the way back and comes about, uh, I think. Let's see, is that getting in the way? No, that's not. About that far. I, I like Hasbro's ankle articulation. Uh, it's not perfect, but... It is definitely better than a lot of other uh, figures and brands out there. Um, there is something wonky going on with mine's leg. <laughs> mine's leg. I don't think that's proper grammar, but that's what I'm saying. Uh, I'm assuming it's because of package. Like I said, I'm going to have to throw this guy in some hot water and like maybe let all of his joints get back into spot. This is back to the little plastic snappy tie zips in there. And I'm going to say this. I don't like them. I don't like them. I prefer when they were putting the little twisty band around his waist. Um, you're not looking at these anyways. So what difference does it make? Right? <laughs> um, don't, you know, just, it's not even necessary. Um, okay. But back to his overall appearance now. We showed that articulation, and he's got some fantastic articulation just like all the classified series figures. Um, if there is one thing that Hasbro is doing well, it is the articulation. It's nice. I really like the options that they put on characters. Sometimes I wonder what their choices are and why, like, why does he have one hand that swivels back and forth? He's a SWAT team member guy. Like he, he's gonna, you, you, you might want to switch hands and stuff. <laughs> I don't know. But, uh, the paint appliques, let's take a look at that because he does have a lot of really nice paint application. Uh, I'm going to say this, remember that whenever you have a paint application on a figure, uh, it, anywhere it rubs, it can rub off. So remember, this is to look cool. If you're trying to like run around and play and have these in the bathtub with you or something, you know, hey, Shockwave's going to go scuba diving. No, <laughs> don't do that, man. That's not what this is for, bro. You ain't five anymore. You're 50. <laughs> okay, cut it out. <laughs> At this point, your bath time just needs to be relaxation, okay? <laughs> At least if you take a figure with you to the bath, don't get him wet. Keep him dry, okay? Because then you're going to risk, like, dirt and mold and stuff like that getting stuck. To you just don't want to, all right? Clean him off and put him on the shelf. <laughs> um, but as you can see, he's got, like, the paint application for some bullets. And uh, it doesn't show up too well on the camera, but there's, like, a copper color and then a gold, you know, more brassy color on the bottom. That's a really nice unnecessary detail that is just wow like that was thought that's a separate you know each one is a, a separate paint applique and you pay per per brush stroke i think but uh yeah i mean <laughs> it's crazy all right so again he's got this wonky arm but you see here like there's the tech camo it's it's really neat looking um on his wrist he's got this little cuff 
uh, that's movable. Uh, you can take it off, obviously. He did not come with spare hands. Uh, I think some of these uh, lines are getting wise and not putting out a ton of spare hands because the spare hands are <laughs> starting to take up too much space. Now, and, you know, he's got appliques on the hat, too. Um, the vest is like, that's a duotone. There's like some black there, or grayish black, kind of a charcoal. <laughs> Let's say charcoal. And then as you move down, um, the knee pads are obviously a separate plastic, uh, a gray color. And then, you know, you move down and the boot is black and... You know, I mean, there's a bunch of different kinds of boots that they use. I'm not going to go into all about the boot, um, but Hasbro kind of swaps between a bunch of them. And, I, you know, they do a good job. I think it's okay. He's got two holsters because um, he's got a bunch of guns and stuff that he comes with, too. And he's got another bracer on the side. He's got a, uh, a knife sheath. And uh, he does not come with a backpack. I want to say the original came with a backpack, but he does not. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to scoot him back here. And now we're going to talk about his accessories. Accessories. <laughs> All right. So, of course, what does he come with? Well, one of the first things he comes with is a baton. <laughs> right? A little police baton for crowd control. Right? So, we got that. I don't think he has a holster for that. I'm not 100% sure. Okay. He actually comes with two separate knives. He has two holsters for these, so we're gonna, let's get the cam on it. There's one, it's a knife that's got like a hook end on it. Um, I, I've, I've never used a knife like that, so I don't know if that's like some kind of a, a thing or what, um, but yeah, there's that knife. And then the other one is just kind of a normal Normal stabby black knife. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Focus. <laughs> it's just a normal stabby knife. Um, he doesn't have duotone on any of his parts. That's kind of sad. Um, I like it when they paint the silver onto the knives. But that's okay. I mean, sometimes uh, these guys have black knives and stuff so that they don't show when they're doing their operations. And this knife kind of matches that sheaf, so I'm going to assume that that goes in there. And then that's a longer sheath down there, so I'm going to assume that this goes down here. Right? Okay. Looks okay. All right. Let's talk about these guns. It comes with two guns. They're like little Uzis. <laughs> I didn't know that Uzis were crowd control. Or at least I think these are Uzis. I don't know anything about guns, honestly. And both of them, of course, come with tiny little clips. <laughs> tiny little mag clips that are going to get lost. <laughs> Actually, quite a bit of it goes in there, so it's not too bad. Um, but they didn't have to do that. It's kind of cool. You know, it's like, ah, you can show him changing out his cartridges. Uh, I'm going to put these in the holsters because he comes with the baton uh, and there's no place to actually put the baton. So I think when I load him out here, I'm just going to put the baton in one of his hands um, because his his last accessory is the one that's we got to talk about, you know, we got to talk about here. <laughs> this riot shield. <laughs> Look at that thing. That's kind of cool got a bunch of he took out only four cobras with his riot shield <laughs> it's got like the floodlights on there and everything i mean that's pretty neat that's a cool detail um it's got like a little hand you know a hand clip and then you pop that clip on so it looks like it goes in that hand which is a bloody shame <laughs> like oh man why couldn't they have made that a left-hander you know, because he's going to have to have his gun, right? I mean, I suppose you can just clip it on his arm like that. But Hasbro, what? Come on. Because, I mean, this is this is a left and right hand, and this is an up and down. You want this for a gun. You want this one for a gun. Where the heck is he going to put the shield? I mean, there's no, 
There's no clip. He can't like put it on his back or nothing like that. I think that's a miss. Um, that's a miss. He, he can't do anything. And I guess he's supposed to be left-handed with his firing. Only there's the notch for him to put his gun on because he's supposed to be right-handed. <laughs> right? I mean, I assume. I mean, not everybody is right-handed, and I'm sorry, I don't mean to be discriminating against people who are left-handed. But there's some odd choices being made here <laughs> on Hasbro's part. So if you want him to be right-handed with his gun, you're just going to have to deal with that thing being a little wobbly and clipped on. I don't know. I feel like that's bogus. <laughs> um, but, all right, let's do it the way that they have him all laid out. You know what? Hasbro's going to has, and maybe they had a reason. Or maybe they just did a bunch of reuse here, and they got sloppy and lazy, and what are we going to say? I mean, <laughs> and should we put it underhanded? Yeah, because that feels like that's how you're supposed to handle a police baton. All right, like that. But now he's left-handed. So I hope he's left-handed because that's the way his shield is made. <laughs> yeah, that's weird. I don't know. Um, but hey, that's fine. I mean, most of the time, I'm probably not going to have the shield with him anyways. <clears throat> I, I'm, I don't know. I, I, I don't think I've seen the shield yet uh, used in Classified. Uh, I don't have a figure with the shield. Uh, and I want to say the Alley Viper is a very different shield design. But, yeah, I mean, I think that overall, this is... A really nice figure design. Um, I, I know that it's a crud ton of reuse, but I think Shockwave is a lot of reuse done right. Um, these hats, that might be a QC concern. I don't know if you've got an issue with it. I mean, it's kind of starting to like be a thing where uh, the more I look at it, the more it's like, eh, it doesn't look that bad. It's not looking that weird. I, I'm, I'm probably going to try and shave it a little bit though. I, I tell you, in person, it looks uh, it looks a little wonky, and it is going to mess with my OCD. It's mocking me. <laughs> Shockwave, how you feeling about being a part of this world, huh? <laughs> you know, shot out of the box. I'm I'm feeling really good. I'm feeling really good. I'm going to give him an Italian accent because uh, he's got that last name uh, uh, Faria, and uh, I don't know if that's Italian, but I'm going to say it's Italian because, you know, I'm Italian, and I want somebody that's Italian in G.I. Joe already. <laughs> All right, so if, if you have not, wait, you know what? I'm not going to end this yet because we got we to gotta really take a look at him and just go around and just take him in, okay? Just take him in. I'm going to get a little rotating stand at some point, and I definitely want to, like, try and see what I can do. But let's, let's, let's give him, <laughs> maybe not all crotchy. I mean, on the box, I guess he is kind of left-handed. Uh, on the box, it's showing him with the riot shield and the, and the gun. Um, yeah, give him. I'll give him almost the same, almost the same. I'm not going to be even close. <laughs> He's not bad. I like him. I, I do. He looks good. I like the color difference. Um, it, that's part of the reason why I went for the uh, retro card, Gung Ho, because I, I like the blue. I liked it breaking up all of the army green because gi joe is military and sometimes it gets a little too heavy on the army green that's why i love the cobra figures because they really mix it up <laughs> you know you get the army stuff from the joe side and then you get the crazy weird you know like uh hydra type you know enemy stuff from the cobra side and you know it's really cool i always felt like gi joe needed another enemy other than cobra um but, yeah, I mean, I get it. Just Cobra. 
<laughs> one of these days maybe we'll get another enemy um but man uh that uh that the cartoon that renegades cartoon i i'm not a big fan i'm not a big fan i don't like what they did to it i am definitely more of a fan of the classic even though the storylines are probably more <sighs> written with definitely more depth nowadays <laughs> you know i'm sure writing has definitely grown as far as cartoons go but uh yeah hey all right shockwave come here show these people what to do over here what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit that subscribe button <laughs> no wait, no that's right he's italian i gotta do it what are you gonna do is no that's too much that's too much that's not right maybe he's like from brooklyn or something like hey okay over here what you gonna do right is uh you know what he could be i mean i'm from chicago so i mean he's like a south sider he says this that and the other but he's an italian so it's like a, a you know south side italian guy from chicago and you know hey right over here we're gonna say subscribe you know when you subscribe you turn on those notifications because <laughs> when you do this <laughs> that's a good thing <laughs> you get notified and then you can sit in your front room <laughs> and watch videos <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> you know what? Just do me a solid and hit that like button. I know I'm an idiot. <laughs> Just hit the like button, please. Please help me. <laughs> Goodbye.